everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Monday, March 3rd, 2025. You had a um, serious situation here along uh, the Zio X Elk Fault, Lake Fault. This was a newly discovered fault, um, only published, I guess, back in 1923, of the threat for this fault zone. There was a magnitude 4.5 early this morning along this fault zone. This fault could have an earthquake um, of a, up to a magnitude 7.6 according to scientists. There's been quite a few earthquakes in the uh, Washington state area lately that I, I pointed out. And this fault zone could put oh probably about a, a million Americans in the northeast U.S. at risk of a tsunami. Due, due to this newly discovered fault zone. It is the forward arch for the Cascadia subduction zone also. And the last time this fault ruptured was probably about 12 to 14,000 years ago. 3,664 people said they felt this earthquake. It had a depth of about little more, not much, of 10 miles. And it's um, the forward arch along the Juan de Fuca plate. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4 and that was felt over a very wide area of intensity level 4. Yeah, we got Friday Harbor here. More about that. This is an area of heavy sediment so if there is a large earthquake uh, yeah, it would be intensified. Here you have Victoria. 134 people said they felt it. Port Angels, intensity level 4. Four people reported uh, feeling it. Um, Arlington, 3 there. Um, another 6, another, yeah, 6 there. I got the sun shining on my computer. It's hard to see. Yeah, it was felt as far as... Um, we got Bend, Oregon, Eugene, Oregon. That might be the farthest. Springfield, intensity level 3. One report there. Um, ben, intensity level 2. And then um, all the way up to Canada. Yeah. Let's see. Um, intensity level 2. I believe that's Victoria Island. 3. Gibson, 4. Yeah. On EMSC, several reports have been sent in. Here at Orcas, it says that uh, we just got up and felt it hit. Took us a few minutes to realize it was happening, but the entire house rattled for about four to five seconds. Our bed was shaking, but no damage. Interesting way to start the day. Uh, shook the bed and the windows. What a wake up. Uh, another one said they woke, woke them up Friday Harbor. I'm in Friday Harbor, heard the sound of the rumbling, and then felt everything shake and heard the wooden frame of our house creaking. That was only a 4.5. Can you imagine a magnitude 7 or greater? Um, woke us up. They were sound asleep. There was a boom that started it off like a car crash. Proper shaking. Bellingham. Uh, woke up from sleep. Bed door violently shaking. On its hinges lasted two to three seconds. Um, Edgemore neighborhood in Bellingham, Washington. Another one from Bellingham. I had just woken up from my alarm when we felt the shake of the house. We were still in bed, but then the whole room shook for a few seconds. It was so quick it took us a second to process that it was an earthquake. You know, the problem when you have an earthquake when you're sleeping, I've talked about this before. If you're in bed, get off the bed, on the floor, next to the bed. Usually there's a large dresser or something between the bed and uh, where you would lay, you know, on the floor in between. Those two objects, if you're in an apartment building or a two-story building, if the uh, ceiling collapsed, could possibly save your life having that little space between a dresser and the bed. So keep that in mind. You it used to be USGS said to 
just lay on the bed and put a pillow over your head. But when they had the Northridge earthquake um, down there by Los Angeles, there was a lot of people who died in their beds when the ceilings came down and crushed them. Yeah, I don't know if they were crushed or they suffocated, um, but they died on their bed. So get on the floor beside the bed. Um, motion woke us up. Um, bookcase caused the bookcase to rattle. Make sure bookcases, heavy objects, are securely bolted to the studs of the walls. Um, Oak Harbor. Heard what seemed like a rolling thunder, then rolled through the neighborhood and through the house, etc. Um, the house shook momentarily. Our dogs were woken up as well. Yeah, this is serious. The fault line is about 45 miles long, and scientists believe it could create a very large tsunami if it had a magnitude 6.5 to say a 7.5. People need to have a plan. You need to be prepared because any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And like I said, I've done videos about recent earthquakes in this area. Um, I don't know if you watched them. You might uh, go back and look at them. Now notice this 4.5 right here. This is the location, they believe, where they had that 1700, probably a 9 or larger earthquake, where the Cascadia subduction zone completely uh, ruptured. This is the forward arch, even though, you know, it's kind of deceiving seeing a straight line. But this area is the forward arch of the Cascadia subduction zone for the Juan de Fuca plate. Um, you know, they broke down into different little sections here. I would like to know if you felt this earthquake. If so, please put your comments down below. How long did it last? What kind of damage do you have? Uh, yeah, we we really like to know more information. What did the motion look uh, feel like? All right, this kind of explains the forward arch a little bit more with the moment tensor ball. This was a thrust earthquake. The worst type of earthquake that you could have. It's where one side of the fault rises up and the other side stays stationary. Um, yeah, we got uh, tension right there, smack dab middle, where the earthquake occurred. And uh, pressure is probably a little bit to the east, as you can see here. But yeah, it gives you a good indication of the forward arch for the Cascadia subduction zone. As I said before, this is a newly discovered fault zone. Um, a paper was only published in 1923 about this fault zone. And another thing you should remember, too, that all these little islands and the hills um, that have built up because of the pressure of the Cascadia subduction zone moving underneath the North American plate, all those hills will drop when there's a large rupture. Yeah, the tension will be released. And those hills, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's like, it's, it's scary to think about what will happen. So please share this video and help with the uh, algorithm there with YouTube. Yeah, I'm being throttled again. I don't know why. Um, please like. If you thumbs up the videos, that will also help. Please stay safe and be prepared. Please be prepared. Like I said, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Thank you for watching and God bless you all. Bye.